Take a deep breath. And for a moment, just center your energy, center yourself, be here, be now, be aware of your body. Just be present to this moment. Notice how you're effortlessly observing my voice, the sound of my voice is being perceived. That is because you are effortless consciousness, a consciousness you cannot change. It's a consciousness you cannot not be. You can change its quality, you can change its frequency, its state of being, but you cannot change the fact that you are. You cannot cease to exist. So just stay to yourself internally. I am here. I am now. Life is filled with appearances that come and go. Come and go. Thoughts come and go. Emotions come and go. Circumstances come and go, but I, I am. I cannot change. I cannot be undone. The I exist will always be I exist. I am will always be. The I am may change form. But the I am will always be I am. So now that you are centered on your I am consciousness for a moment, I'll take you briefly through the see it, feel it, and be it process. So go back to what I first asked you, which is, what is that core frequency? That true state of you? What is the true you? In a sense, what are you here to explore more of? What type of energy, what type of experiences? What quality of experience are you here to explore more of? And share more of, and therefore become more of? become more embodied in, become more realized in, become more a master of. What quality of experience are you here to explore and embody? See it, imagine it. What would it be like? What would it feel like? Imagine yourself completely embodying that quality throughout everyday experiences. And imagine it in your most exciting setting or environment or scenario. Even if it's not specific, just get a feeling for it. But if it is specific, then use that. What would be the most exciting scenario for you? The most exciting circumstance for you to fully manifest your 
chosen quality of being into. See it. Make it detailed. So experience that, feel that, now that you're seeing it very clearly. The more clearly you picture that, you will find that you are, as you're tuning into that with your imagination. Which works like a tuning fork, like an antenna, tuning into different parallel realities. The more you tune into that chosen vision of yourself and your environment, the more you start to download feelings that belong to that reality, that belong to that parallel self of yours. That parallel self already exists, make no mistake. If it wouldn't, you would not be able to know about it. You would not be able to imagine it. You would not be able to desire it. Anything you desire is already hidden inside of your consciousness as a potential projection of who you are. So imagine it. In other words, tune into that parallel self hidden inside of your own consciousness. And clear it up. See it as clearly as you can. Imagine the circumstance. Imagine the feeling you have. And you will start to notice that that feeling starts to trickle down into your present sense of self. As you're sitting here, perhaps an inner smile starts to occur. A sense of empowerment. sense of embodying that quality that you're imagining. At some point you simply start to feel it. And always as you're seeing, as you're imagining your ideal version of yourself, bring into the mix the knowledge that this is actually possible Otherwise, you would not be able to tune into it. If you're able to tune into it, if you're able to imagine it, it must be within your frequency range of what's possible for you to make manifest. So bring with you the feeling that what you're seeing is actually possible. It's actually highly probable for you if you let it in. If you allow it to become manifest, it's actually highly certain that this will become who you are. And that is exciting. And as soon as what you're seeing becomes exciting to you, you start to feel it. It starts to make that connection to this reality. So you're, in a sense, connecting two parallel realities to each other. This one, the one that you've assumed yourself to be at this timing, into one you've not yet fully assumed yourself to be, but which you have the ability to access through consciousness, through imagination. So now you start feeling it, you start downloading it, you start making that connection. You start to actually connect to that portion of yourself which is more exciting to you than the portion you've generated out of your past thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. Now you start shifting your paradigm, your vision of yourself, your understanding of who you are, who you desire to be, and how you'll respond in circumstances, in two circumstances. You'll notice that that new version of yourself is way bolder, it's way freer. So now that you are excited about that version of yourself, it starts to feel more real, more probable, 
as soon as it starts to feel more probable, you start to, again, download it into your present sense of self. More accurately speaking, you start to shift into that parallel reality and leave this one behind. That's when you start to feel it, when you start to bridge, when you start to shift from here to there. From this reality to that reality. That's when you get really excited. And then, as you feel it, become it. Become that state of being, become that frequency, embody it, anchor it in. Know that this is who you are. Know that there is nothing that can take this away from you, except your own belief systems, which you have the power to transform anyway, so even that cannot stop you. Even that cannot actually prevent you from becoming the purest state of yourself. So as you start to feel it, and you start to choose to actually be it and become it, you have to realize one thing, that your behavior needs to change accordingly. Your mode of being, the way you carry yourself throughout life, needs to reflect this vision of yourself. It cannot be the way you've behaved up until this point. Because if you do, then you will not anchor this into your physical manifestation, dream reality. It will remain an exciting vision, which is great, it's better than nothing, but it can also just be a big tease that never fully comes about. And the joy of being a co-creator of existence is to make it complete, to complete that circle of creation. From non-physical all the way down into the seemingly physical nature of reality. So, how does that version of yourself, in that environment, in that perfect, beautiful environment, how does that being respond? How does that being see things? Everyday things. How does it experience things? Does it hesitate as much as perhaps you presently do? Or does it just see more of what it desires? Does it just perceive its preference and that's what it acts upon? So how does that version act differently than this version? The moment you start integrating that behavior, that sense of being from that alternate imagined version of yourself, you start to actually become more that version and less of this version. And then what happens is that you start to inherit that version's reality and leave behind this version's reality. So become it, know that you are it. Feel it, be it. Believe it. Behave as if you are already that version.
see only what you prefer to see. Behave as you prefer to behave. Feel as you prefer to feel regardless of what's happening. State of being first. Experiences second. They follow your frequency. Your choice. Do this constantly. 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 Feel it. Constantly. Constantly. Constantly.
Thank you. 